I checked my Instagram and we were talking about it earlier where our buddy Vince sent me this clip of this dude dressing up in this colorful poncho <laughs> in Boyle Heights of all fucking oh, places. Damn. Yeah. And he has a mustache and a sombrero. And uh, I guess he was doing like a Mexican skit, right? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> and he's getting called out for it. And um, let's watch this video, guys. Can we can we do it like on yeah, just, on live? Just put it on. I want to see it. Okay. It's, so oh. just play it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the first part. Now, I'm going to try to like put it in the mic so everyone can hear. It's funny. It's funny. Do you need the camera? Yeah. Give me the camera. Please, please. Do it, do it. Don't fucking touch me, dude. Dude, do don't touch me. <laughs> get out of here. Dude, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get back, dude. Please. Get back. It's not worth it. It's a white girl. Okay, that's it. We're leaving. We're leaving, dude. Let's get out of here. And it's like a Persian looking guy. Get the fuck out. want to dress like that you think it's funny it is funny yeah it is funny it is funny dude it's not i'm not here to disrespect you dude you you <laughs> but you literally did it is funny i'm not here to fucking disrespect you dude trust me dude i'm not here to fucking disrespect you dude. i'm not fucking funny i'm spreading a good message i'm spreading a good message, <laughs> a good message. <laughs> a sombrero a <laughs> fake mustache and a poncho Oh, she said that with such lack of confidence, oh, dude. Man. I'm not leaving. <laughs> no. All right, that was video one. Okay, here's video two. So basically, they're standing there, and he's like, "What? You're an animal?" Like the guy in the poncho is like, "You're an animal. You, you can't talk about it." And no. then, yeah, the Mexican guy's it. like, "Well, yeah, I'm the animal. I'm over here disrespecting a whole culture or whatever." Anyways, um. Yeah, man, this is crazy. So um, I don't know, like maybe you could, I don't know if we could put the video on or whatever, but Probably I'm just going to explain it. if you can't see for the people that are listening, apparently this guy is Egyptian. Okay. And he was like, no, no, it's cool. It's cool. I'm Egyptian. It's All like, right. <laughs> You're still not Mexican, yeah, dumb fuck. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And then his, his girlfriend's white. And then so like, um, you know, obviously Mexicans didn't like it that he was standing there in a poncho. They're like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. And out of all places, man, Boyle Heights, you don't fuck around in the hood, man. <laughs> yeah. That's the barrio, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> and it's, I think it's just weird nowadays because like with all the gentrification and all these people moving into LA, like they just do not fucking understand how right. shit will go bad here. Yeah, like, no, it, it is real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like dudes get shot, dudes get beat up, stabbed, whatever. Like, yeah. and um, you know, it's just... You don't want to go there and, and disrespect a group of people that will throw down. Like, it's yeah. not fucking Santa Monica. Like, this ain't, you know, you don't fuck around right. in certain places. And I feel like in that area, too, things are already kind of sensitive because their their area is getting gentrified, right? Mm. So they're seeing, like, all the stuff they loved as a kid disappear and go away. Yeah. And they see a bunch of flanneled and checkered shirts come in with their fucking, you know, expensive coffee and their yeah. mustaches. Yeah. And they see their, their childhood going away. And then you have these guys... Or this Egyptian man. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he had a pass, man. Yeah. He, thought he, had a he, pass. Thought, he thought it was cool. He goes, I'm Egyptian. I basically look Mexican. You know? yeah, no, nah, yeah. bro. It doesn't really work like that. Hey, just right. because your people made the Sphinx does not make it okay. <laughs> just because you look Mexican, too. It's like, hey, I'm one of you guys. No, you're not, dude. Like, yeah. if I went down there rolling with the poncho, I think, first of all, they'd laugh at me because I'd look ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. But also... Just the the whole YouTube shit, right? Like people doing it for clout, people doing it to make it. Yeah, you see, know, like they get it. They think, oh, well, you guys are doing a fucking skit here. Right, yeah. right. This is like it, like basically y'all y'all mocking y'all y'all yeah. mocking us in our city right yeah. in front of us. You think we're just gonna sit here and watch y'all like be like, oh yeah, can I be a part of the sketch? Like it's just it's it's. I mean, weird. at least have some Mexicans with you. That's what I'm saying. You know, like, have your Mexican homies, you know what I mean, with you to be like, hey, nah, dog, he's cool, dog. He's yeah. cool. He's, <laughs> hey, that's my Egyptian homie, dog. Like, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, hey, chale, fool, leave yeah. him alone and shit. Fuck it, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least, or if you're going to do that shit, do that shit at your crib. Yeah. Your message, you're saying you got a good message for it, whatever. Yeah, whatever. What's the message? Yeah, yeah. What, well, I don't know what he's message. spreading positivity, possibly. dude. <laughs> yeah, but like, bro, just do it at your crib, man, to where you're not, you're in your own, you know, personal space. You can still wear your poncho. Like, just let people make those decisions on comments. So, you know, you're safe. It's still a piece of shit thing. See, my thing is like uh, uh, wearing, like, like that's like me wearing, um, uh, 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 what is it? A 
kimono or yeah, or you something know, like that. Yeah, yeah, like traditional you know, Asian yeah, stuff. Traditional, yeah, traditional. And then if if I was making a, a skit, <laughs> you know, what I mean? and I was making a skit about it. So am I? Like there's there's just a line of like what's gonna be funny and then what's gonna be racist. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah, why if, like why didn't I cast somebody who's Asian? Well, because this is my page and I'm the, I'm the comedian and I want to play this role to portray this. Yeah, you know what I mean? Or or, or be and funny. I, I actually have no problems with that. Like if you if you made a skit right and like like we had this one skit where we're we're like slanging tea. Right. And then we have one of our black buddies that comes in and he's like buying tea from us and we're like acting all hood, but we're wearing like traditional Chinese clothes or like, um, you know, I, I have Cholo characters that I, I, I played a lot of different characters back yeah, in the day. Yeah. So like <clears throat> my, ch my Cholo characters are Asians that grew up in like Mexico and stuff. And then, so, yeah. so they have that, like, like what's up, I thought like that kind of yeah. East LA kind of style. Yeah. And you're right though. If you do it like in a setting that's like, you're not doing it outdoors, mm -hmm. like fucking with people. I right. think I don't know what this is about, but it it looks like they're outdoors fucking with the community. Yeah, yeah. like pranks and shit. Yeah, like bro. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. It's not a prank to go to a a blood city, a blood street, and yeah. wearing wearing all blue, blue. bandana. Let's <laughs> all you know everything blue, a whole blue unit. And thinking like, all right, bro. So we're on a blood street right now, Pyrus. <laughs> yeah. And we got on blue. Let's check it out. You know what I'm saying? And they're just like crip walking down the whole like. Yeah. If I can make it from this stop sign to this stop sign, it'll be a hundred bucks, bro. You know what? You just gave me a great video idea. Thank you. That would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm doing that tomorrow, dude. Yeah. What's up, cut? Like, I'm not, I'm, they don't think you I'm just got to make it from one stop sign to the other. Yeah. Damn, bro. Dude, that would be hilarious. And then they get shot up and shit. Yeah. Dude, oh every, my God. every time I saw, see like these pranks, like I said, I always pray, just please, one of them die. I just want one of them to die. I just want it to happen once. I just want somebody to get shot. Just be like, man, I fucking told you so. Yeah. Because then yeah. some people would be scared of it, but nobody has really faced those consequences. You have to give like a <laughs> uh, uh, like a neutral uh, reaction to like, fuck. I know. <laughs> yeah. I love, how this fool, I love how this fool thought he was he was like a martyr. Like he's doing something yeah. great for the society. Like yeah. he's like some fucking like hero. Like this is for positivity, man. And, he and has, he's like blaming the 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 guys. Like so, you can't blame the guy for being offended that you're fucking with his culture yeah, like you're yeah. like why you gotta be an animal and try to fight me for it and it's yeah. like man what the fuck are you saying right right that's like if i went to the south and i walked around called all these black people n-word and then they get mad at me and it's like what whoa, whoa. whoa and i'm whoa, like whoa, wait hey, hold man on. you're being an animal <laughs> right now <laughs> and i'm oh, like shit would have went down yeah nah, bro. dude like i deserve to get my ass beat at that point yeah. like there's always a line right some people believe like you should never be violent no matter what i don't fucking believe that shit mm -hmm. if you provoke someone enough and then you're just being a complete dipshit yeah maybe you should get your ass beat and that's it, what it i takes believe a, yeah some people do need a couple ass whoopings yeah you know what i'm saying just to just to straighten up to to be like oh maybe that was fucked up his, you know, uh, his girlfriend it's like, was funny though. If you go up to a fucking lion, right, and you poke that motherfucker with a stick all day, you deserve to get bit. Yeah, for sure. Right? Facts. I like this girlfriend because she was she was not down. She was like, she went, I'm not leaving without him. <laughs> it's like, could so your I'm voice have leaving. shook any more than that, you dumb bitch? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm let's, not leaving let's, without let's him. talk about their channel. So you, you said it was what? Dan and... Uh, it's like stupid and bitch or something like that. It was like, okay, <laughs> Kimo, Kimo and Danny... Uh, David did a good job finding their fucking Instagram page. I mean, their YouTube page. Yeah. And then they just do like pranks, pranks. or whatever. Oh, it's like cloud chasing shit. Like do, yeah. we tried being homeless in Dubai, Indonesian villagers, try rapping Drake songs, whatever. Yeah. Here's, here's the hard part. Um, I think Tim actually explained this really well. He was he was talking about the whole situation where a bunch of YouTubers, they do a lot of crazy shit, right? Yeah. And, and they gain a lot of attention for it. After a while, they just stop being human because they don't know what's real and what's not. Yeah. Because yeah. fucks with them. Because they're trying to create any type of story, any type of fervor on a daily basis. Right. So they don't know what those boundaries are anymore. Even right. sometimes too, like when we're out, like, so Tim does this one thing now where he just goes, before he vlogs, he goes, hey, vlog warning. And he says that just to let people know if they don't want to participate in this, they don't have to. Mm. But prior to that, he probably didn't do it. And, but now he knows like, oh, not everybody wants to be in this type of world. Right. And so it's a very odd thing where, where sometimes when you have to create content every day, these kids, they just don't understand what's yeah. acceptable. That's like going not. live. Yeah. Like you got to let people know, like, hey, I'm going live. Yeah. Because there's so you, you we can just be talking. We can be talking shit about somebody or you yep. can be talking shit about uh, of, of something that you wouldn't want people that you're, you're comfortable around your, mm -hmm. your friends. And you got one person on live. 
and now they hear Joe in the background yep. talking this shit, and you're like, fuck, bro. Like, yep. You know, that's scream. happened to us within yeah. our circle of friends, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Like, yeah. that live thing is, is serious, bro. You know, Dude, that shit happened to You just got to call it out, too. Like, hey, I'm vlogging. So then people know, oh, shit, watch right. out. Right, right. That's happened with, like, fucking <laughs> when Kodak was talking his shit about fucking Nipsey's yeah. wife. Oh, bro. <laughs> that boy. Oh, that shit was so fucking oh, crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have, uh, uh, like, that conversation, I can see the, the conversation happening behind closed exactly, doors. Exactly, behind closed doors. With your homies, you're yeah. talking dumb shit because yeah. obviously it's dumb shit yeah, let's let yeah. get that out the way that you're saying some ignorant shit yeah but the fact that you got the camera on and it's his live i would assume you yeah. know what i'm saying it's like bro no bro no, the funny thing that's... was when he was when he he wanted to squash the whole thing and i think he went on his instagram live and he was like yo well this is what it is he's like you know i was giving her a compliment <laughs> like, man, yo he man, tried he cleaning stupid, it up dude. yeah yeah he's just dumb so, so yeah. check this out this is what his girlfriend said right so she sent a dm to this dude and then she's like um so she says by the way my family and i are immigrants cool. and we only came to the states from eastern europe like 10 years ago and are not rich and privileged cool. as all racist people think cool so crazy only the USA has such big degree of racism. The rest of the world doesn't like this. All I want is to end that in this country as well. Maybe the approach sucked. <sighs> then we will learn from this. But at least Kimo and I are willing to put ourselves out there and try. Most people just talk and complain about it but never act on it. One day when you feel when you travel and see the world and experience different people and cultures, you will realize cultural appropriation is only a problem in the USA. And if we keep approaching it and racism with hate, blah, blah, blah. You know what's crazy is this bitch has no fucking idea what the American experience is all about. Obviously, cultural appropriation is a sensitive t- topic in the U.S. because we had racism and we had one group that was very powerful. Yeah. And um, they would, you know, like, for example, like, you know, incarcerate people for no fucking reason if yeah. they wanted to or whatever. Yeah. Um, and she just doesn't understand race relationships in the in the U.S. Of course, it's going to be sensitive. This country is literally made off of appropriation. Yeah. Wait, what was Wait, what was the word we, we used? Justification, Co- well, cultural uh, appropriation. appropriation. Yeah, appropriate. That's like like a culture vulture. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So she's like, why, why? Um, and she's right too, because like in Japan, um, they love it when foreigners come and wear kimonos and and dress up in the costumes and mm-hmm. play all that shit because it's tourism and they don't have the past hurt. Right. But, but out here in the U S if, if people are pretending to be Asian and they fuck around and do their eyes shit and then they wear like ching chong clothes or whatever the fuck. And yeah. then they act around that, that does, it, it feels different. Mm-hmm. But if they're out in Asia doing it, it's not that weird. And so mm. she's kind of, she's, I mean, her response is fucking stupid, too, because she goes, well, that's not how it is at the rest of the world. So if you're so well-traveled, right, then you should understand that every time you go to a country, everybody has a different set of rules. And if you're respectful in that country of their set of rules, why can't you do the same over here then? So mm. what, what is the change that you're trying to invoke here, right? So, yeah. for example, if she, if she traveled to – if she went into my house, right, and then she didn't want to take off her shoes because she goes, in my house, I didn't. I don't give a fuck. Take yeah. off your fucking shoes off in my house. I'll slice your feet off. Yeah. How about that, bitch? Yeah, yeah. You know, but so it doesn't – her logic doesn't make sense. So it's kind of, it's kind of what do you call it, egotistical too. Yeah. So she's like, once you fucking travel, you'll yeah. understand. Yeah. Motherfucker, you're talking to like, sometimes people from can't the hood. Yeah. Can't afford it. Yeah. Like what yeah. the fuck? And then you're saying we're not as privileged. It's like, obviously you don't understand that some people just can't afford to travel or see the world right. and understand outside of their city. Like that makes you that is what privilege is yeah. like you don't you're blind to seeing that some people just can't do that right and yeah. if you're trying to like spread a positive message okay and you're this is uh let's say you're trying to do a message for um you know korea you're not gonna for your for your video you're not gonna dress in a korean outfit <laughs> And then say your message. Yeah. You can actually still be yourself or be any other character. That's true. And spread your positive message. You don't That's have so to be funny. in a poncho, a fake ass, like curly ass mustache <laughs> that curls at the ends, and a poncho, like or a sombrero. That's you know what true. I'm saying? 
to spread your message. For what? What was that yeah. for? What, um, was, yeah. what was that? That purpose? is just a good question. What the fuck was the message? Is what I don't I'm trying know. to figure Bro, out. What is this positivity? Yeah. I, don't, I don't even watch this bullshit. But yeah. it's, it happens so many with so so many fucking YouTubers do this bullshit, dude. Yeah. It's about time people get checked for their bullshit. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Well, and then how, the entitlement, like how people think. That yep. it's like, man, I'm doing this fucking message for good. See, people that's what that's what the internet, the, the internet, social media, and everything it it allows people to be their own celebrity. Yeah. Mm. So now, my now, fans need me. Yeah, my fans need me. I'm doing this for the world. I'm trying to spread this, and I'm trying to change this. And that. you actually need to learn your position. Yeah. And play that role, and then you know, once you continue being that role, you progress, and then you'll end up being the person that you want to be. But right now.